What you will find in this video will greatly lift your faith today. As we celebrate this great general of God for initiating a revival that has paved the way for his descendants to nurture a formidable faith in Christ. Here is Prophet T.B. Joshua's son, senior evangelist Terence, doing even greater things than his father, like the Bible says in John 14, 12. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. Watch to the end and see the finger of God at work. Say your sickness. You are not part of me. You are not part of me. This is not your atmosphere. Oh! 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 Where are you hiding? Come out! Timo! This is not your atmosphere. I imagine this is what we call real pain. You may not see this as pain, eh? This is pain. If you want to talk about pain, eh? But when you were 17 years, this is what we call pain. You should just understand what she's going through. You cannot mingle around friends. You cannot even sleep in a neighbor's house. You cannot go to visit people. You cannot go for nothing. Don't worry, Jesus Christ loves you, eh? During our live Sunday service at the Solution Ground, God End Time Prophet Senior Evangelist Terence, walking through the prayer line, encountered this lady named Anita, who had been in search of the fruit of the womb for eight good years. Just a touched from God's servant, she came back with a testimony for the glory God. So for how long have you been looking for the fruit of the womb? Eight years. For eight years you have been looking for the fruit of the womb and Jesus Christ has done it for three weeks. Oh, oh, oh.
Jesus Christ has never said goodbye. Madam Tom O'Cannibal was stroke with sinuses, which caused her difficulties in hearing for years. Through a miraculous intervention, God's servant, Senior Evangelist Terence, walking under the influence of the Holy Spirit, prayed for her, and she was instantly healed, and her ears was restored, as she gave glory to Master Jesus Christ. Who are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Somebody said Jesus! Somebody said Jesus! To confirm to you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Madam Leah Catherine came to the Solution Ground with the problem of diabetes, which has affected her health to the extent that she could not walk freely. But as she encounters the servant of God, Senior Evangelist Terence, the power of God under the administration of his servant healed her from her problem, and she left the Solution Ground with joy and happiness, as she is now a free woman. So I'm watching the couple here. Yeah. This woman can me. Anybody can testify. She could not walk. The anointing is held up. Understand? The anointing is held up. She could not walk. Now she can walk out of here. But I'm telling you, you know who. Now she can walk out of here. Show her. Show her. Show her. She can walk out of here. Show her. Show her. Believing that Jesus Christ has the solution to all fundamental issues of life, on the 4th of February, 2024, the man of God, Senior Evangelist Terence, was moving through the midst of the congregation when he encountered a lady named Madame Mbong Marinette. She was experiencing difficulties in working due to a moving object in her leg. Watch what happened. Louder. After receiving spirit-filled prayers from God's servant, Senior Evangelist Terence, Madame Mbong lifted up her hands as a sign of gratitude to glorify Master Jesus Christ. I said I have blood in the eye, but it's flushing behind me that have been giving me injections in the eye. When it pumps smoke and it, if it pumps smoke, I cannot see it will be cloudy. Then my legs cannot even carry me. <laughs> Do you believe Jesus Christ will heal you? Believe, sir. I believe, even as was preaching, I believe I said this message is just for me. <laughs> I believe that God can do <laughs> unexpected things. Do you believe you will stand up and jump right now for Jesus? Do you believe? I believe, sir. I believe, I believe, I believe. Let it be to you according to your faith. Lord, I bless you. How did you feel when the servants of God lay hands on you, Evangelist Tombo Terrence? I felt very good. That's why I said things that I couldn't do, I couldn't judge, my legs couldn't touch the ground. This is it, this one has been for long. Old. If I'm standing, it's as if they are pushing me behind, as if my legs are foams that are on it. But these are my legs now on the ground. I'm not on my surface. I can move, I can run, I can jump, I can do what I couldn't do. I can do what I couldn't do. This sickness has deprived me from rejoicing in the presence of God. It has deprived me a lot. I couldn't go to church. Let me just tell you the truth. I couldn't go to church. But whenever I sit like this, it will make me as if let me start to cry. Let me tell you, I have been frustrated with the level of me going to the witch doctor. I went to the witch doctor because of frustration. And they gave me so many prophecies there. That I'm this, I'm that. I said, God, why can I start with you? Then I end with the table. I, I, I don't I don't deprive joy from those things that they were saying.